Hey guys, so I may look a little frazzled right now, and that's because I am. Um, I actually am in the process of moving, and not just moving, but moving into my house, which I bought. Um, this is the first uh, house that I've ever purchased myself and I got the keys on Friday. It is now Thursday and I've just been moving in, basically. I got the very last of my stuff, uh, moved over here yesterday, and I've just been trying to unpack. But basically, I wanted to do this video for two reasons. So the first reason is that I am having the worst experience getting my internet service set up. Um, it's just been a whole thing of back and forth since Tuesday. And as I said, it is Thursday right now. So basically, they came out on Tuesday. Everything was supposed to be set up on Tuesday. My modem was supposed to be delivered on Tuesday. And none of those things happened. So <laughs> I'm playing like game tag with my, uh, the, you know, internet, you know, trying to get them to send somebody out and sort out this issue and hook my house up. Plus I'm dealing with trying to get my freaking modem that was supposed to have come guaranteed delivery on Tuesday and is not here. So basically, I'm frazzled and um, really annoyed and also kind of pissed off. So I am not in the headspace to be productive right now. I just can't do it. I want to unpack and I just can't. I'm so annoyed <laughs> with all of this going on. So I have about an hour to kill before uh, my mom is coming to pick me up and we're going to go grocery shopping together. So I thought I would record a video. And what this video is going to be is basically a house tour. But this was the second reason for making this video when I thought about recording a video is that anytime someone does a house tour or like a moving vlog type thing, you never see the chaos. Okay, you like see them packing and then you see them unpacking and then like everything's done and it looks great. No, okay, I am a obsessively organized person and a very efficient mover and my house is still uh, chaos right now. So... I just thought it would be fun to do a video and show what moving really looks like um, for anyone that's maybe never had to move or just someone who's never had to move quite like this before. Like I said, this is the first time I'm moving into a house. So all the other times that I've moved, I had significantly less stuff to move because I didn't have as much furniture to move. So. This, even though I'm very experienced with moving, this was a whole different, like, monster to tackle. So, uh, I just kind of want to show you around the chaos and show you my house because I'm super excited about it. So when you come in the front door, you walk into what is considered the dining room. Um, as you can see, a lot of natural original woodwork all throughout the house, which is um, completely my vibe. I love old houses with authentic woodwork and all that kind of stuff. So you can see these amazing swinging glass double doors that leads into what is considered the living room. And then the door that's over here leads to the kitchen. So like I said, this is considered the dining room. I am using it as the music slash cat room. Um, and basically that just means that 
I'm putting all of my music related and cat related stuff in this room. And it's not going to be a room that I really come into that often, but it's just kind of the room to put things in, I guess. So like I have a litter box out here, I have a bench by the window that the cats can get up on and look out the window. Um, I've just got a chair, the chair's staying there. Um, and then this craziness. So I inherited a record collection from my nanny. She didn't want it anymore. She also recently moved and was just like, I'm not taking it to the new house. Someone else can have it. So I decided to keep them and I also got that from her as well. So I bought this crazy stand to put everything on. Um, so like all the records are going to go down there and then in this drawer um, I have oh, I have eight tracks um, because this is also an eight track player. So this massive thing is a um, record player, a radio, and an eight track player. That's why it looks so insane because it has three different functions and um, it has like actual like big speakers that hook up to it. So it has um, different like volume control to it also. So I just put that together last night. That was a whole thing. Um, my guitar is there, which is obviously going to stay out here. And then all of like my music posters are going to get hung up in this room. As you can see, plenty of wall space. So all of my music posters will be hung up on these walls here. And then when you come over, I have more cat stuff. So I have their little eating area here with their dishes and I have like all their food down there. And then the other shelves are going to be my comics, which is just like, that's where my comics go. Basically, this was originally storage for my comics and um, I'm going to continue to use it as such. But I decided to put it out here because it just made more sense to put it in this room because then I could also use it to store the cat food somewhere. So this um, is going to stay here. I'm thinking of switching this around though um, so that the stand is on this side and then the dishes are right by the door. This door, as I said, then leads into the kitchen and I've just got a little kitchen um, it's actually decently sized, it's just that there's not much counter because of the way that it's laid out. So I'm not really a fan of cooking, so the fact that the kitchen is small doesn't really matter to me. Um, I've got my fridge there, my fridge and my freezer, and then I actually today started unpacking all my kitchen stuff. So I've got some stuff in there, so like medicine cabinet. And then I'm going to have glasses up there. Um, my dishes and stuff aren't put away yet because I wanted to rinse everything off. So then got like all my utensils, like my cooking utensils will go on this counter. And I've got the oven in the stove. I've got some stuff in there. So like I'll keep my spices in there, my plates, my bowls. And um, this stuff is all pretty much empty because um, I haven't washed all that stuff yet. Um, appliances are going to go down there. I still have to clean some of these cabinets out. And then I've got a coat closet. This is the only closet downstairs, so it is by default the, co the coat closet, um, which is convenient because the back door is right here, which is going to be like the main um, like access that I use to the house because my parking is out back. So it actually makes sense to have my coats in this closet anyway and then I'm gonna have like my cleaning stuff in here as well um, and then of course like the sinks over here I do have a dishwasher that I'm probably never gonna use because I live alone so I'm never gonna have enough dirty dishes to justify um, using the dishwasher but I have it and there is Momo yes and um, <laughs> this looks crazy right now because um, this is the only outlet in the kitchen. I'm having more put in next week, but until then, 
that is the only outlet, so it's the only place that I can keep the microwave, which is why I had to kind of push it to the side so that I had room for my drying rack. Um, and then my pantry is in these cabinets here, which I worked on this morning. This is what I spent the majority of the time doing um, earlier, was cleaning out all these cabinets, you know, wiping everything down, and then putting the food away, and then it goes all the way up. Um, I am very short, so that top shelf is never going to be used, and that third shelf I can only reach with a step stool, so um, I'll probably end up mostly just using the two bottom shelves, but there is that, and like I said, I'm going grocery shopping today, so I'm going to pack this full of food by the end of the day, which is why I wanted to get it cleaned out this morning. And that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Nothing too exciting in here. Um, so this is the door we came through. If you go this way, it will lead you, this is the basement, it's not that exciting. This is the living room, so there's two different doors that lead to the living room. So there's a door to come in from the dining room and then a door to come in from the kitchen. This house was built in 1930, so back then the houses were always like, each room was segmented off like that, and the layout of the house has never been changed, so that's, if it seems weird that like everything's split up, that's just the natural original architecture of the house. I personally really like it. Most people nowadays don't, but I like it a lot. So this area back here <laughs> that Seeing it uh, on camera somehow makes it look worse than it does in person, but um, this has kind of been the catch-all area, I guess, um, for stuff. This is kind of going to be like the office area, I guess. It's going to be where I keep my desk, and I have also this little like computer desk that also... Um, like, this is like an easel, so this tilts, and I decided to keep that for, you know, if I want to draw and stuff, I figured it would be nice to have, like, an easel desk. So I'm going to have this, um, like, against the wall over here, and then I have an actual, like, super old, this is, like, I think at least 50 years old. I got it from my grandma, um, the same one that gave me the records, so... This I'm going to refinish, which is why it's not set up yet. So I'm going to have this over here to be used as a desk. And it's going to be like here in front of the window where this table is now. Um, this table I'm actually getting rid of. It got water damaged in our garage. I was originally going to use this table instead of that desk. But when I realized it was damaged, I decided to take that desk instead. Which works out better, honestly, because I'm going for, like, a vintage vibe um, with the decor anyway. So, um, that desk fits the overall uh, decor for the house much better anyway. Because, like I said, it's a s about 50 years old and it has hairpin legs. So, it's going to look super awesome in here. And I even got, like, a super old-style desk lamp. Um, another important thing to note, all the furniture I did not buy. It was all stuff that uh, my family already had. The only thing that I've shown so far that I bought was that record stand. Um, and then I also bought a coffee table and a shoe rack, which hasn't um, been delivered yet. But everything else came from our house. It's just extra furniture that we've accumulated. Um, from like moving and inheriting stuff from people like hand-me-down stuff so I got really lucky that I didn't really have to buy a bunch of stuff um, so I have these chairs that are gonna be at the desk because I'm using it as a desk but I also decided um, to kind of have extra chairs that it can be used as like an actual table to sit at like a multiple people um, plus like these chairs just kind of went with the vintage vibe that I was going for it's got this like crazy like gold and sort of teal colored cushions that I just loved and it was a set of three which was kind of like an odd you know normally it's a set of four 
We only had three of them, which actually worked really well for me. I liked the, th the fact that we had three. So, um, yeah, it's going to all kind of just go with that vintage look that I'm looking for. Um, authentic vintage, because when I say vintage, this stuff was actually made um, back in, like, the 60s and 70s. So, same with this floor lamp. Super old um, and just looks really freaking cool. I just love the design on the shade and um, yeah I also I took this from our house it was something that was there. Um, this is probably the newest piece of furniture that I own um, which is a love seat. This I'm not sure how old this actually is it was like a twice hand-me-down item um, but it the pattern is very like geometric so it actually ties in with everything really well and um, there's my other cat Smokey I don't know where the one that you can hear crying is but she's somewhere um, I have my bookshelves that I had hung up in my room before which is gonna be a whole ordeal I'm not looking forward to putting those back up but they're gonna go between these two windows and so I'm going to have like four shelves um, here put up with brackets and they're just like stained wood shelves. Um, so they're going to be there and they're going to have all my books and a huge majority of my knickknacks on them. So I have like the stuff for the shelves in there, all the brackets that I have to put up. Uh, I have another litter box and stuff. My TV's over here. I just have this little stand. And um, that's pretty much how that's staying, other than the cord management will be much better. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm getting all the outlets upgraded. So I didn't want to bother finessing all of the cables when I know I'm going to have to like pull this out so they can replace that outlet right there. So that's all a mess right now because I just I couldn't be bothered to do it when I knew... I would have to probably just fix it later so I'll probably work on that at some point maybe today because I can kind of get some of that sorted out but um, I also whenever I get my freaking modem I'm probably also gonna put the modem over here but at this point I'm losing all hope of ever having internet in my house <laughs> so here are the steps which are at the end of the living room which go upstairs to the two bedrooms and the bathroom you can see absolutely nothing because I didn't turn the hallway light on um, so straight in front when you come upstairs is the only bathroom in the house so I have another litter box here and then just your standard bathroom um, nothing exciting. A pretty decent size, especially for the um, age of the home. There's actually some room to move around. So I was happy to know that I could actually have room to keep a hamper in here. There's no storage, but you could easily buy shelves if you needed storage in here because there's enough room to sit some here. And then I have the bedrooms are on either side. So right there are the steps. So when you come up the steps, there's a bedroom on the left and a bedroom on the right. The bedrooms are completely identical. Um, like the layout, the size, everything's completely identical. So, ha, huh, you can see all of a sudden. This is the extra bedroom. <laughs> so it's empty. Um, I'm keeping my DVDs up here just because there wasn't a good place to put them downstairs so I decided to just put them in the extra bedroom. So I already have all of that fully unpacked and then I have a little TV stand there that I'm going to put my extra TV up here. Right now it's downstairs because once again I don't have internet so I've just been watching DVDs so I had the extra TV downstairs. Um, to just carry around room to room 
So when I was, you know, working on cleaning or unpacking a specific room, I would just carry the TV in there and watch a movie because it has a built-in DVD player. So it's currently downstairs, but I'm going to be keeping it up here. And then those are just all my extra um, throw pillows. And here on this wall is where I'm going to put my futon that I had in my room before. Um, it just hasn't been brought over yet. I'm doing that on Tuesday. So the futon will be here and it'll be like, you know, an extra bed if I ever had someone stay over, which isn't likely, but if I did, I'd have it in here. But I'm thinking at some point, so I'll have the futon, like I said, here, and then my DVDs here. At some point in the future, I was thinking of potentially making this into like a theater room and maybe, um, I don't know how realistic this is with like the size of the room, but maybe I could get like one of those screens that you like pull down and have like a projector on the opposite wall. But I don't know, um, I've never looked into projectors, so I don't know if there's like a certain, you know, like size or whatever the room needs to be for it to be able to project. I have no idea. I've literally never <laughs> read anything about projectors. I have no idea how um, they work or anything. But I thought that could be a potential use for this room because I currently <laughs> am using it as a place to keep my DVDs. So that might happen at some point because I could always potentially um, move these shelves over to this wall and then maybe just have the projector project right onto the wall. That would probably work. Um, and it would probably look pretty cool because like the the wall is big enough I think that you could have like a decent image on it. Um, so that's an idea that I had. Not anything I'm going to execute anytime soon. <laughs> There's so much that goes into this process of moving into your first house. I'm very tired. <laughs> so this is my actual bedroom. So like I said, I ordered a shoe rack which is going to go um, right here. So currently my shoes are just in that basket. But once I get that rack, I'm gonna sit it there and put all my shoes on it. I have just this little chair. My one cat would always sleep on this chair, so I decided to put it in the bedroom. Um, just thinking that maybe it would make her more comfortable, have her, give her somewhere to sleep um, while I'm sleeping. Um, and it also just kind of fit in the space really well. I didn't have a... <laughs> I had no idea where I was going to put this chair, so ended up working there pretty well. Um, and then just a little ottoman that I'm using as a side table. I have my extra sheets for my bed in there. And then of course um, my bed, which is just like a little, you can't actually see it because it's black, but it's just a like little wood platform um, base. and. I've got some drawers over there that have clothes in them, a little bench at the end of the bed, and then I have all my clothes against the wall over here. And I see that my cat managed to get the closet door open. I found out that this door does not latch and my cat keeps getting in there. It's not that big of a deal, I just don't want her uh, crawling in the closet. I felt that rock would stop her, but apparently she just pushed it out of the way. So I am using the closets for storage, not as actual closets, but the two doors that you see in the bedrooms are both closets. And that's just extra blankets for the bed. And that's pretty much it.